horrific and deadly interstate pileup. A semi speeding along the side of the road, plowing into stop traffic. More than two dozen cars and trucks caught in the fiery wreck. And look at this, a driver live streaming as that semi blew right by him. At least four people died, but that truck driver survived. And tonight he is facing charges that include multiple counts of vehicular homicide. ABC's Clayton Sandell is alongside I-70 in Denver. A major interstate tonight still partly shut down. Oh, my God. After a rush hour hellscape triggered by the crash of an out-of-control tractor trailer. <laughs> a chain reaction nightmare Greg Salinas barely escaped. At least four people did not. I know the driver that hit me, he's, he, he's no longer alive. The big rig driver, 23-year-old Rogel Aguilera Maderos, now facing vehicular homicide charges. Investigators are reviewing videos that appear to have captured his truck just before the crash. Oh, my God! The big rig speeding past Josh McCutcheon seconds before the collision, and police say they're looking at another video which seems to show the driver swerving across lanes. He loses control of the vehicle coming down I-70. He uh, can't stop, doesn't stop and ends up colliding with several cars. 24 cars and four semis explode into flames, fueled by the truck's spilled cargo of lumber. It is not clear why the truck did not stop, but police say it does not appear to be intentional, and there is no indication of drugs or alcohol. And Clayton Sandell joins us now live tonight from that scene. Clayton, investigators, as you mentioned, are still working tonight to figure out what was going on with that driver. And there's also the safety concern. The fire so intense, it could have weakened the bridge and roads we see there just behind you. That's right. The intensity of that fire and the explosions had engineers worried, but they now say it is safe. But the fire did severely damage the other side of the highway. You can actually see crews down there making repairs now. They hope to have the entire interstate reopen by tomorrow morning. Tom. Clayton Sandell in that horrific crash. All right, Clayton, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.